Last week, we heard our first sneak peek at Reanimated 2. This new version introduces the concept of animation worklets, JavaScript functions that run on the UI thread in an isolated context to compute an animation frame. In this video, I would like to show you some of the properties and quirks of animation worklets, as well as the three different ways they can interact with your React code. Let's have a look. Hello React Native developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Last week, we had our first look at Reanimated 2 and we have built this nice example with the pine gesture handler and the DK animation. And I would like us to build more examples using Reanimated 2, such as this one. But before we get into it, let's get to know these animation worklets. Animation worklets are JavaScript functions that run on the UI thread. And you can declare a JavaScript function to be a work, an animation worklet using the worklet directives. So here, these directives tells Babel to send this function to be compiled and executed on the UI thread. And worklets can access other worklet functions. So for instance, here I can create a function called um, say hello and I am also going to declare it to be an animation worklet. And from this worklet, I can invoke a date time. So I can say hello at format date time. And you already see that if we can Format, format date times, numbers on the UI thread in our uh, animation frames. This can be uh, very useful for a variety of uh, use cases, which uh, for which in reanimated one, we have to cross over the bridge. Here we can do it directly on the UI thread. So now I can invoke this function from the main JavaScript thread from our React code. So for instance, here on press, I can run run on UI and I want to execute hello. And here we do the actual function execution. So we can actually pass parameters to this function. So beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. And so here I can write I can access the parameters. So the JavaScript, main JavaScript thread can pass parameters to worklets, which are executed on the main, U, main UI thread. So let's have a look. So you see here, hello from beautiful Zurich Switzerland. And, um, but this is not saying hello from beautiful Zurich Switzerland, but from the UI thread, this is running in the UI thread. And um, so worklets can be invoked from the main JavaScript thread, receive parameters, and they can invoke synchronously other worklet functions. They can also invoke asynchronously functions from the main JavaScript thread. So maybe um, I'm going to create another function called say hello from the JS thread. And here, maybe we're going to do an alert. So hello from the JS thread. And I can invoke this function from an animation worklet. It's just that here, this will uh, be executed asynchronously. So I can execute it here. So this works, but it's done asynchronously. In fact, um, just to show you, if here, if I return the value directly, so I say result equals and do a console of result, it's not gonna uh, log hello from the JS thread. And this is simply because 
uh, this function is executed asynchronously. And one last thing is that these worklets can also directly access constants from the main JavaScript thread. So for instance, here, if we want to access platform from React Native, we can directly access constant value. So here it should say hello from iOS. Perfect. So this was a brief introduction into animation worklets, JavaScript functions that run on the UI thread to compute an animation frame. JavaScript functions can be declared as animation worklets using the worklet directive. This tells Babel to send these functions to be compiled and run on the UI thread. They can receive parameters from the main JavaScript thread. They can invoke functions from the main JavaScript thread. These functions are invoked asynchronously, a little bit the same way we are doing it in reanimated v1 using the call animation node. They can synchronously invoke other worklet functions, and they can also access every constant values from the main JavaScript thread. So now that we got to know a little bit more these animation worklets, I'm really looking forward for us to build new examples using Reanimated 2. So see you in the next video, and in the meantime, happy hacking.